and it's me, Carl! Woo! Carl! <laughs> yes! Oh, it's so good to be back. It's been a while. It's been a while. It's been a while. Been a while. Been a while. Wow. Man. Man. I've missed you. I've missed you, Carl. Hey, and children, we've missed you too. We've missed you guys so much. Yeah, and yeah. for any parents that are watching on YouTube, yeah, yeah, we miss you too. We miss you too. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh, Carl. Oh, man. Man, just at this point, I don't even know where we're going to go. There's just so many adventures to go on. Well, I feel like we're probably going to go back to the garden. You know what I'm saying? Actually, yeah, yeah, that's a good point. It's a good point. We're still in the garden. We're kind of in the garden for a little while here, you know? Yeah. 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 You know, and if we're going to go to the garden, we need the logos. 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 Time to engage the logos, kids. Here we go. And as they know, logos means word. The word. The word. The word. The scroll. The scroll of scrolls. Yes. The scroll of scrolls. Well, let's do this thing. Let's do this thing. Let's open this logos up and All right. Going. Come on. Back in time we go. But, but back in time. Loading. Let the logos Please confirm. Oh, no, no, no. Loading complete. Are you ready, Carl? I'm ready. It always scrambles up my brain a little bit. Ooh, real scrambly. Oh my goodness. Wow. Ah. <sighs> well, well, last time we were here, the serpent appeared to Eve. Yeah, Carl. Genesis 3, 6 says, the serpent was tempting Eve. Hey, Thomas. Yeah. What is temptation? It means trying to convince someone. Like when I tried to convince you to give me eighty hundred dollars? Ah, exactly, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> you know when Eve saw that the tree looks amazing and delicious, she took its fruit and ate it. No, no, wait! I can't believe she ate it. This is terrible. Yeah, it gets worse, Carl. Then she took some and gave it to Adam, and he also ate it. No! Adam. Immediately, their eyes were open, and they realized they were naked, vulnerable, and ashamed. They were now aware of the bad things and the good things. They had disobeyed, and for the very first time, they felt guilty. That's crazy. So, yeah. before, they were naked, and they didn't even care. That reminds me of my little brother, Lewis. He's two years old, and he doesn't even care when he's naked. But me? I know. Never take my clothes off. <laughs> Even when you take a bath? <laughs> I just get kind of, <laughs> sort of. That's exactly right. Puppets don't bath. So that's exactly right. They were innocent like children. Now it's almost like they were all grown up. This wasn't God's plan. They tried to hide their guilt. They made clothes out of leaves. But then they heard God coming. Oh no! God is going to be so mad! That's what Adam and Eve thought. They were so afraid, so they hid themselves in the trees. Oh no, that's a horrible place to hide. I would have like dug a super deep hole and then made like a canopy out of sticks and grass to go on top like a little, uh, like a little hatch thing. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good idea, Carl. God called out their names. He wasn't mad. He was sad. He cried out, guys, where are you? And Adam answered, I'm right here. I heard your powerful presence moving in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid. Then God said, Adam, who told you that you were naked? God knew that no one told them. God knew that the knowledge of nakedness was coming from the fruit. They were busted. Yeah, Carl. God asked them if they had ate the fruit from the tree that they were commanded not to eat, and they had to tell God the truth. Adam blamed his wife, Eve blamed the snake. Everyone was blaming everybody. And that's the problem with sin, right? It ruins relationships. That's right, Carl. Sin has consequences. Then God said to the snake, Satan, you have made a big mistake. Because you have done this, you will be cast down to the underworld, to the house of dust, hell, 
and you will rule from beneath mankind, from the realm of the grave. You will be judged and defeated by child of woman. A redeemer will come and crush your head. Oh, wow. God was talking about Jesus. That's right. Then God told Eve that from that point on, having babies would be really painful and that marriage would be difficult, that life would be filled with conflict and relationships would be really hard work. Man, that is so true. I always get in fights with my best friend. I thought I was your best friend, Carl, and we don't fight. My other best friend, you don't, you don't know him. I have lots of best friends because I'm really popular. <laughs> I mean, I, I know that, Carl. You're very popular. I'm just kidding. You're my only friend. Oh, And we don't fight. You're my best friend, Carl. Yeah. You're right. Relationships are very difficult to sustain because of sin. Then God said to Adam, because you feared your wife more than you feared me, and you don't listen to me, I'm going to curse the ground. Your job is to be a lot of work from now on. In order to eat, you will have to suffer painful work all the days of your life. This nice soft ground is going to be hard. There's going to be harmful plants called weeds and thorns. You will have to work in order to eat until your body, taken from the ground, returns to the ground. For you are from dust, into dust you will return. Man, this is so bad. I wish that they would have trusted God and obeyed God. Yeah, Carl, obeying God is so important. It's so important that we practice obedience. Practice obedience? How do we practice obedience? Yeah, thanks for asking. By obeying our parents, our teachers, our children's church ministers. When we obey our parents the first time, we're gonna learn how to obey God the first time He speaks to us. The Bible says that obedience is greater than sacrifice. So God wants us to obey Him even more than He wants for us to give Him $800 in the offering at church? That's right, my friend. I think we should make a declaration. Good idea! Yeah, all right. All right, kids, repeat after us. We declare. We declare. We can hear and obey God's voice. We can hear and obey God's voice. Because we are God's children. Because we are God's children. And hearing and obeying is a choice. And hearing and obeying is a choice. Amen. Wait, that was powerful. It was. I think we should do that one one more time. Yeah, good idea, Carl. Let's do it again. Let's go, kids. All right. We declare. We declare. We can hear and obey God's voice. We can hear and obey God's voice. Because we are God's children. Because we are God's children. And hearing and obeying is a choice. And hearing and obeying is a choice. Amen. Amen. So good, Carl. Wow, so good, Thomas. So good. So good. So good. Ah, uh, so good, Bill. Oh my goodness. So good. So good. So good. Well, we should go to Moses and get ourselves a blessing. You're right, Carl. All right, Mr. Moses, take it away. Okay, see later, Mr. Kid. M. See you guys. <laughs> I want to bless you. So hold out your hands in front of you and close your eyes. Here we go. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he shine his face upon you. May he be gracious to you and turn his face towards you and give you peace. Shalom.